you you shouldn't pray or fast during your menses because you're unclean and not because of the fact that it's like oh my god you know i want to take this stress off of you it's because of the fact that you're unclean during that time he he perceives it as because there's there's washing and stuff like that mm -hmm. you know it you do what do right and so mm -hmm. the thing is is that he, you're religiously deficient because of something he decreed mm -hmm. I'm not understanding your point. Everything you're saying is you yes. Do. You do. So you're you're religiously deficient because you're of something he decreed. He decreed for you to have a period. He also decreed that you shouldn't pray or fast during. I can pray any. It doesn't matter what I got on or what's happening in my body. My God accepts my prayers. At oh, my Allah accepts my prayers all the time. Anyway, it don't matter for my period. I could raise my two hands up and make dua and say, Ya Allah, help me. We can still we can still um, worship. We can still worship. Well, Why do you guys think that we, well, can, we have perform, to, we have to sit on the bed perform. and just start shaking? We can't do nothing. We can still worship. We can read Quran. Can we can't take the Quran, but we can read Quran. We can make dua. We, can you like, perform salat? You cannot perform salat. Salat is not the only way to right. worship. Right. right. So if let's say you never did salat ever in life, are you a good or a bad Muslim? If you never prayed salat in your life? Yeah. Yeah, I'm never going to come out and say someone's a good or a bad Muslim. Muhammad did. He said that if you don't in the, in the Hadith, he said is you're the worst. You're the worst type of Muslim that neglect the prayer. So prayer is a very important thing. And I understand you're saying I can do dua, I can do all these other things, but you cannot do Salat. And so God is telling you something that is required even for your salvation. If a Muslim doesn't pray, they're not getting into heaven, period. And I got sources that, that show that. Right. So um like basically something that is very important it makes you religiously deficient like you are lesser than a man okay you see why is religiously deficient equal to less than a man why are you um equating because, the two? Okay, oh my so gosh does a, does a man have a period the man don't have a period right so he he doesn't have to not pray or fast during his because he doesn't have menses right correct right so allah gave us something as women periods right and then he says you cannot pray your fast during this period then he says you're religiously deficient because you can't pray your fast during the period he gave you so you think god will give us a period then tell us we can't pray and then punish us for not being able to pray does that make any logical sense to any yeah, well that, that's obviously what's happening correct Oh my! What that, premise, that's that's what, what you guys believed in. What premise is wrong, Howard? Oh, <laughs> Hold on, James. What premise is can, wrong, Howard? One, one second, James. Okay, so let's take it slow, but step, step, okay, step. Can I say step. One second, Amara. Howard, okay. did God give us a period? Yes. Okay. Did God say that women cannot pray or fast while they're on that period? Yes. <laughs> Okay, are you religiously deficient because of the fact that you can't pray or fast during your menses? I wouldn't say religiously deficient, Muhammad but just, just for the plot. Okay, oh, did. Did. why y'all so obsessed yeah. with our prophet? Please don't, please, don't make me yell. please don't make me yell. And it's Muhammad not made, made by the nation. Oh, Muhammad, Muhammad, made. Muhammad, no, made. nobody but Hawa. Can. Nobody but Hawa. Nobody but Hawa. Hawa, the last premise. Are you religiously deficient for not praying or fa fasting during your menses? Okay, just for the plot, I'm gonna just say yes. Yeah, because your prophet said it, right? So now we find ourselves in this crazy place where because this man <laughs> said these things, right? We have to now deny what is congruent with reality. Like your own intel, Yahweh, you're very smart. I can, I can hear it in your voice, you're very smart and intelligent. But now you have to deny your intelligence. You have to deny what God has given us, right, which is the, the menstruation that 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 has caused you to be born, James to be born, me to be born, and say that this makes you religiously deficient and you're intellectually deficient and you just might end up in hell because you're a woman. Okay, I have a question. I don't know about the end up in hell thing, but um, do you know that you can still earn like good deeds while on your period? Like you're not banned to hell, right, when you're on your period. You know you can still have good deeds and God can still bless you when you're on your period, right? I will. Wait, just yes or no. You know that, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've heard that from another woman, Howard. Okay. But I want to. Okay. This is like a, re a religion, and I want you to really, okay. like, don't answer this, okay? I want you to think about this when you go to bed at night. A religion is like a wall, and it's a brick wall, and the bricks make up the principles of the faith. And when Muhammad says that women are intellectually deficient, that's a brick that's taken off. And then when he says we're religiously deficient because of the period that God gave us, that's a brick that's taken off. And when he says and compares us to donkeys and dogs, that's a brick that's taken off. 
when he marries children. That's a brick that's taken off. When he says, I can marry any woman I want past the, the four wives that men are allowed to have, a brick that's taken off. Okay? When he says that if you even leave the religion of Islam, you should be unalived, that's a brick that's taken off. It's like it's like the religion is falling apart based upon the principles that this man you say is a prophet is instilling, and he's giving the word of Allah. You are worth so much more than this as a woman. Your husband should not be able to hit you because he fears disobedience from you. That's a brick. That's my, you, uh, my, my, my husband can't hit me. Speak, and I'm gonna let you speak. But after all of that, you have this wall that is about to collapse and fall down because it's not based upon truth. Let me let me let you read this real quick. Hold on, and I want to see what you think about it, and then we're gonna move on. Give me one second. Go ahead and read that for us, Howell. <laughs> Today, um, we he the whole thing or yeah, the whole thing. Please go ahead. Do not beat Allah's handmaidens. But when Umar came to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and said, "Women have become emboldened between their husbands," he, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, gave permission to beat them. Then many oh, I already know where this is going. <laughs> then many women came around to the family of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, complaining against their husbands. So the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Many women have gone round Muhammad's family." complaining against their husbands they are not the they are not the best among you sorry it's small what what happened here can you tell me what happened in this hadith i don't want to put my words on it you tell me so okay, okay before i get into this um like do you guys agree or like can you guys see how like you guys take a hadith like this and you guys don't know the story behind it and then you guys just run with the end result and then it's like oh okay prophet muhammad said you can beat your woman like do you so see I how that's kind of like misleading like a little bit how uh, is it ever okay to beat a woman it's never okay and prophet mm -hmm. muhammad was Thank one you. of the gentlest so men he was um, that's rubbish but we'll get back to that later that's nonsense yeah. But we that's not, not focus yo, on do the me a favor and watch your mouth because that's not nonsense. Do me a that favor nonsense. and watch your mouth because that's not yeah, nonsense. I haven't power, came up here and power, said nothing power, power, about I don't really care. Let I'm gonna leave in a second power, truth. Power. So James, watch Sorry, your mouth. Truth, can I, I'm gonna leave in a second. Yeah. I just want to show them this one last thing. Aisha in the chat, I don't want to hear it. So you need to be humble. Be humble or how? Why I have to be humble when he keeps going mo? Aisha in the chest. I feel you. James I feel don't you. got no respect, and that's, I'm not having a conversation with somebody I don't got no respect. How, how I hear what you're saying. You're right, and and I and I do want to try to refrain from like anything that's gonna trigger y'all. But at the same time, you can't say like put some respect on his name when I can show you the hadith that literally say he punched Aisha in the chest. Oh, thank you. My, yo, <laughs> thank you, James. You can be quiet. Go ahead, James. now, James. Go He's ahead. How you can respond? I just want to show them this. I want to show them this, and I want to just then not. I don't want to talk to Amara. Just be quiet. You know what Allah says, right? Just stay quiet. in your spot. You quiet, I just want to show you guys this over here. I know, read. Yeah, listen. I'm not Mo, and you can't tell me what to do. Guys, if you give me the big screen, I just want to show all these people Omar, this just hadith. allow him, please, and then you can speak right after. And don't, don't yeah. mute Amara, but just let, let James... I'm not muting anyone. And he's going to be respectful, but let him speak, and then you can go. Yeah, I just want you guys to see this. This is not me talking. If there is bad luck in anything, it is in houses, women, and horses. So you see, each time we come to a hadith that talks about these women, that destroys these women and gives them Stockholm Syndrome. Now I'd like to address the women in the chat. There's 200 people in here. I just want to say this to all the women out there. You should never accept that your husband beats you. You should never accept that you are less than your husband. You should never accept that sleeping with a six-year-old or a nine-year-old is okay. You should never accept that your brothers and your fathers and your are better than you. Um, you are, are equal you done? to them. Are you done? When you listen, you no, I'm not done. When I'm when my mouth stops working, you'll know I'm done. So it's let never me finish, stop please. Working. So no. once we start, I'm I'm not mo. Just you say now. You stay in your corner. But remember, this is 4:34. This is why the man is allowed to beat his day. wife Don't because he fears. In Surah 434, it's because of women like you that mom decided they need to be given a spanking. So anyway, guys, the people in the chats, please respect yourselves. Do not cut walk towards hand, Islam. Walk away wife, from Islam. Because hand. Islam tells you clearly that hand. women are worth absolutely nothing. Love yourselves. 
put Jesus first and walk away from the satanic religion called Islam. Mo was nothing more than a PDF that abused okay, okay, young okay, children okay, okay, and okay, women. Okay, 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 God okay, bless okay. you guys. Until you get down, until you, you get suffer down, from Stockholm until you get down, I'm not going to stop talking. Until you get you down. Can cry until river, you, you can cry until a river, sis. You can cry a river. Until you get down, I'm not going to stop talking because you you're disrespectful. Cry. And you're not going to talk about our prophet Muhammad. Mo, so was, like a, Mo was a so pedo. And I'm just saying to all down, of you guys, stay I'm away from pedo Mo. Okay, until you get down, James, One leave second. the live. Leave the live. <laughs> Everyone in the comments said leave the live. Leave God the bless, live, bro. God bless truth. Take your... No, James, please take stay. Please, no, James, please stay. Don't leave on account of them. Unless you want to. Unless you want to. I'm okay. I, 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 listen, the, the truth is it's now 12 o'clock my time, 11, Bye. quarter past 11 my time, and we're these done, two bro. ladies we're over done. here we're are not, suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. Remember your piety, remember your piety, okay? James, thank you so much for coming, God, God bless you, brother. I God bless. It. And nothing we said comes from our I'm opinions, it comes directly from, from their books. <laughs> Pedo Mo should be in jail. <laughs> I'm I glad that the gins rode him all night. James, thank you. I, God bless you, brother. I do appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming today. The thing is, sisters, is that James is not saying anything wrong. Even if we go to the Quran, do you know that it allows a man to to sleep with a prepubescent girl before her period? No, it don't. No, I could tell you that. No, it don't. Howard, show me the verse. Howard. You, you, we haven't known each other for a while, but hopefully we can become, um, hopefully you can become a frequent guest here. I I'm want you to know you. I, I want don't you think to... I'm gonna come back because James was very disrespectful. You know, I let you, you was are I? very respectful, but James I was, I was, I was, I was, I was. Have I or have I not shown you the utmost respect? You, I, yeah, I said you, like, I could have a conversation with you because right. you're very respectful. James, on the other hand, now, now, not... now, how well, but I'm talking to you now, I'm talking to you, so you're right. But and how I, I've ne I haven't said anything thus far and want know something about me. I I will never make a claim that I can't back up. Now if I tell you, if I now let's say I successfully show you that it does allow this, what would you think about it? I would say that it's was taken out of context. I'm not even gonna lie. That's what That's I was crazy. Saying. Okay, so regard. So if I six, <laughs> at least you're truthful. I know. I'm gonna be honest. I'm if I successfully, so guys, she what, what she's saying is if I successfully show it to her, even if I successfully show it to her, she's still gonna say it's out of context. Is that am I, am I understanding? Oh, how I gotta remove you and then and you gotta come back up because you said a, a a word that you shouldn't say up here. How will come right back up, sis? I had to remove you real quick, but I'm inviting you. So come on up. Okay. So Howard, if I successfully show you, you would still tell me it's out of context, even if I give you the context. I mean, I'm saying that because I know for a fact it will be taken out of context. Well, like I'm asking thinking, you, Howard, what if I successfully show you within the context that it's allowed? What would you say? But that's impossible. Howard, well, let's. Can you play the game with me? Let's say I. Should, okay, for example, ask me the same question about the Bible. Ask me. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Like any question? No, ask me, Lana. What if I'm able to show you? That okay. This, this, go ask me. What if I'm able to show you something that is clear? <laughs> right in the Bible, right? Yeah. Listen, here's the here's the right answer. Oh, how well, I would condemn that, and I would really consider if this is the right religion. That's the right answer because anytime a man is permitted to touch a child, we know that that's straight from the devil. That's from the devil. So, can I show it to you from the Quran that it allows this? Um, no, you can't show it to me because I don't know where you're going to get your source from. And I'm honestly not in the mood to see that. The so. Quran. Do you have a Quran in front of you right now? Are you going to put can, the verse I up? can go get my Quran. You have a Quran and you're not, you're not, you have a Quran, you're not Muslim? Of, of course, I'm too smart to be a Muslim, Howard. No, no offense, but I'm, huh? I think about things. I think what about do you, it. Do you, girl, it sounds like you want to come to Islam. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no, girl, I almost did. But you listen, you're not. nobody can ever tell me a lie. So I've, I've investigated this religion, and I found it to be false. And now I'm trying to share it with you so that you can see the same thing I saw. Now, can I show you that it allows it, or do you not want to see it? No, I don't want to see it, but okay, are your, are your lives like only coming for Islam or do you usually put up people that like, okay, I have a question. Have you ever put up anyone? Cause I've seen a few people in the chat that look like they have like a lot of Islamic knowledge because I'm not going to lie. Like I'm pretty young. I was born Muslim. I don't know how much so. knowledge I have before inviting you up. I just invite you up and then you speak. That's it. Have you have anyone that has actually like ran, gave you a buck for your money? Like that has actually been able to like refute all these things Girl, that you're you know saying. What? You, you know what? How well, I can hold my own pretty well. Nobody 
has ever been able to refute the, refute this honestly. They refute it dishonestly. They say, oh, it doesn't mean a girl, but then I show them that it does. Well, I don't believe it. They, they throw their scholars under the bus, sis. Like, look, look, look at any of my past. I don't post it, but like, if you come here more often, you'll see the, the responses that they give is really bad. Oh my God, I'm so, James, stop tagging me. Like, this is what I, it's giving obsessed. Like, stop tagging me, leave me alone, how bro. How you, how it, look, hold on, let me, let me show you something. Give me one second, boo boo. And I like you, by the way, girl. You seem yeah. like you got a good heart, even though we gotta be more honest, but let me show you this. Okay, this is from the Quran. So you're gonna show me the verse anyway after I said I didn't wanna see the verse? Absolutely, girl, we're we not doing willful blind, willful ignorance here. You, you can hop down, but it's gonna, it's gonna come up on the screen. And if you don't wanna read your own Quran, that's gonna look kinda bad. Cause... I'ma read, my James is a fan, I'ma read, hold on. If you, give me a second. Hold no problem, sis. Amara, sister, are you still there? Yeah, I am. Make sure I, I make you, you, you've been very humble this whole time. God bless you. you. I love you with the love of Christ. Now, I'm not gonna make you answer, but I do want you to listen. Okay. All right. What did you get from this um verse? Okay, so do you want me to explain it to you? Yeah. <laughs> I want you, before we start, before we start, how we are friends. I'm not your enemy and I'm not here to embarrass you, but I will ask you some questions and I want you to just answer honestly. Mm -hmm. Everybody give some love to Hawa. Put W Hawa in the chat right now. <laughs> uh, you don't put W Hawa in the chat what? right now. You are a, a, a <laughs> too far and may Allah punish you um, to, to day of judgment. All right, W Hawa. Whoa, whoa, I'm gonna see whoa. it. Oh, wait, w Hawa. W wait. sister Hawa. Yes. Man, <laughs> Okay, W Hawa. All right. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let's get past that. Well, what did you say? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm trying to lighten the mood, okay? All right. So, Hava, read it out loud for all of us so that we can understand. Okay. Thank y'all. Um, send me gifts. As for your woman past the age of menstruation, in case you do not know, their waiting period is three months. And for those who have not menstruated as well, as for those who are pregnant, they're and, oh, sorry. I, the, the thing is small. I don't. I can't see. As for sorry. those who are pregnant, their waiting period ends with delivery. And whoever is mindful of, of Allah, He will make their matters easy for them. Do you do you know what this verse is saying, girl? Yes, ma'am. I'm about to tell it to you, unless you want to tell it to me first. No, I want to. No, I want. You want to hear know, from me? Do you even know what surah this is? <laughs> yeah, talak. What is talak? Hold on. I want to. I'm just confused as to how you got. Because I thought you were talking about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the no, underage thing. No, see, you thought you knew where this is going. I'm trying to tell you that you don't. Oh, my I, I am a female sheikh, okay? I am, you know. Wait, who, de who declared that? You did? I'm not, I mean, myself. Wait, hold on. Let me, but let me tell you. You thought you knew where this is going. It's not going there. I'm trying to show you from the Quran that a man is allowed to, to have sex with a child. So, before she had her period. So, do you know what talaq is? No, what is it? Divorce. It's the, okay. it's the oh, somebody said I'm not educated enough to think this verse. You are 100 percent correct. So you don't have to respond unless you try to be prideful and say I'm wrong. But you can just listen. OK, so this is talaq. It's the divorce. And they're talking about an idda. Do you know what an idda is? If not, I'll explain it to you. Um, does it have to do with like and actually just go ahead and explain everything to me? No problem, sis. I will. So an idda is a waiting period that a woman has to wait after she gets married. Mm -hmm. Right. And she gets divorced to uh -huh. make sure that she's not pregnant before she marries another man and tries to say that that's his baby, right? Uh -huh. Right? So she has to wait um, the three menstrual cycles. And that's how an idda is counted. Uh -huh. However, they came to uh, Muhammad and they said, well, there's some um, females, you know, that we, that we have as wives that no longer have a menstrual cycle or that don't have menses. The first is the women um, who are in menopause. The second group it says, and those who have not menstruated as well. Who do you think those are? Bruh. Are you kidding me? I have okay. friends that are not menstruating. Okay, I'm asking you, so you think it's women. It's okay if you say it's women. Who are they? I just said, <laughs> it a can be simply a woman who doesn't see her period. A woman who doesn't get a period, okay. And then, then it's the pregnant. However, do you know what a top series? A, tuss, uh, a what? Top seer. A what? 
I'm not gonna say it the right way. Tafsir, like Ibn Kathir, uh, Ibn Abbas, Al Jalalain, a Tafsir, something that explains a verse, something that explains the Quran. The yeah. Do you know who Ibn Kathir is? Someone who explains. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, you've heard. Of, don't be, don't be disingenuous. You've heard of him. Uh -huh. right? So he, let me read to you what this says. Give me one second. I'm Wait. It. So you're taking the verse, and now you're taking what Ibn Kathir is saying. I can't because can I interpret the Quran on my own? No, I do know what Tasfir is. I just didn't understand what she was saying, guys. Don't be playing me, okay? Give me one second, Howell. Let me just pull it up for you. Okay, here we go. Can you read this uh, for us? It's Ibn Kathir. Oh, my God. This is so small. Um, I'm sorry. Allah the Exalted clarifies the waiting period on the woman in menopause and knowing those menstruation has stopped this her older age. Her ida is three months instead of three monthly cycles for those who menstruate but it's based upon the ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah. The same for the young who have not reached the years of menstruation. Their ida is three months like those in menopause. This is the meaning of... The first thing, like you have doubts, there are two options. First, in the same group of the Salaf, Madaya, Gonzuri, and Ben Zaid. That is if they see blood and start the menstrual cycle. The second is, sorry guys, I'm reading fast. The second is that if you do not know the ruling in this case, then know that their ila is three months. This has been poured in Sayyid and provides a weird food. And this has more obvious meaning supporting this view as well. Oh, Allah's message is someone we mentioned in the Quran, the young, the old, and the pregnant. Allah, the exalted, most honored, send down this ayah. So are you telling me from this you got, um, like, um, young, like, nine-year-old girls? Well, not, not like nine-year-old, but they're too young to have a period. So, like, all of the top six, it's not just Ibn Kathir, by the way. It doesn't matter who you choose. It, like, they all say the same thing. Jalalain, Kuthri, a tabari, they all say like wahidi they all say the same thing that it means that it's young girls right mm -hmm. so um it's young girls right mm -hmm. okay and they need a ida right mm -hmm. okay now read this really quickly for me it's the last thing and then we're done everybody put a w hawa in the chat she's doing so good i know I someone said it's how it's speaking about grown women who get their periods i know it is i just don't understand why they're stuck on that when you marry when you marry the believing women and then divorce them before you have touched them consummated the marriage and there's for you waiting then there is not for you any waiting period to count concerning them so provide them and give them a gracious release so basically if you didn't have sex so you only get it up when what you've consummated your marriage and what is consummation i know you know but just for the audience sexual intercourse right so you only get an idda when you have intercourse but remember what we just read in ibn kathir that the young girls that never had a period had an idda right that literally means girls who did not see their period not young girls that haven't reached the age of now if it said that haven't reached the age of puberty all right sis you would have got me that's not what it says how does this even make sense when marriage is not allowed until a girl reaches age of puberty like what are we talking about right now okay so read where it says c2228 read that next sentence is going to say exactly what you said it didn't say read that next sentence sis. who have not re oh ja <laughs> <laughs> that actually just ate me up. Listen, I'm a <laughs> you, you ask me that question. No, no, no. No, guys, no way. Don't say nothing. Howard, Howard, don't Howard. say nothing. Howard, don't say nothing. Put W Howard, everybody. <laughs> w Howard. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> no, we're going to cheer her on because, no, she's doing good, y'all. We're going to cheer her on. W Howard. I'm going to Y'all got me fucked up. I'm not even going to lie right now. This is too damn much. Hold on. <laughs> I know it's a lot, right? No, I'm going to say the same thing it's i said lot. before bro it all comes to and amara is just here on silent like you need to back me you know up why? Bro. because i'm i already told amara to stay on mute because she <laughs> you came with some fire crazy energy girl i, I said oh, hold on how oh, hold on so how no but everybody look at everybody cheering you on we're cheering you on we're here with you we are not against you we're gonna show her some love y'all so I'm not Muslim. Okay, my point Muslims and brothers and sisters, I'm sorry I have failed y'all. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> listen, I know our religion is the truth, but I just, they, they coming too strong for me right now, y'all. I don't have that much knowledge. Howa, let me tell you something, Howa, and I mean it with the love of God that I have for you here. Listen, 
you if you if you leave Muhammad, you don't have to give up God because there is a God, right? He just don't teach stuff like like this. You see what I'm trying to say? Like it's a difference. And so like I, I gave Islam a chance. And the reason why I have the knowledge that I have is because I gave Islam a chance. Um and I was willing to do something hard, which is to say, well, maybe what I grew up in, what I you know learned about since I was a kid is not right. And as an adult, we have to search and say, okay, well, just because I was born into it don't mean that it's the right thing. Well, you need to do the same thing. Tonight, Hawa, when you go to bed tonight, ask the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Use that name because you believe that Allah is that God, right? Use that name and say, reveal yourself to me. Okay, and I believe by faith that he will do it. But, but, but this is like we're not trying to embarrass you. We're trying to show you, OK, God gave us morality. But if God is telling people like telling men to, to sleep with kids, that can't be the right God. And uh, I'm, no, I'm not not to cut you off. sis. I'm not embarrassed. I'm just genuinely I don't have enough um, knowledge to come on this. And I didn't know y'all was so far deep that y'all was going to bring up the false um pedophile accusations like i didn't know it was all that but i'm gonna go down but like i just wanted to say my muslim brothers and sisters i'm sorry i failed us <laughs> <laughs> no, um, how you but i do want to say no you i will won't. not be um going in tonight and doing that um i still believe in allah and the final message of salah salam and may allah bless all of us and help us stay on the right path i mean God bless you, Sister Howard. Thank you so much for coming. I hope that you'll return. Listen, if you have a question about Islam, anything, and I challenge you, anything, please do ask, and I will be more than happy to answer that for you. Y'all, let's give Hawa some love. Write down Hawa's name, and we're going to continue to pray for Hawa because of the fact that we're not always here to reap the harvest, but we're here to plant a seed. If a seed has been planted, listen then the mission is accomplished. And I believe that's what happened. All right, y'all. Amara, are you still up the fic? Do you know what fic is? Yeah. If not, I'll Amara, can you hear me? Um, yeah. Do you know what fic is? Um, like fic in the head. No, oh no, fic, F-I-Q-H. -F so it's like the jurisprudence, do you, like Islamic law, do you know? Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, I do. Okay, do you know what a medhab is? Mm-hmm. Okay, so all four of them, all four of them say the exact same thing that I just said. But I don't want to show you that. I want you to read it on your own while you're alone. You know what I mean? And I want you to kind of be honest with yourself, Amara, that, you know, listen, I get that. Were you born a Muslim? No, you said that you converted, right? Yeah. Okay. Three years ago. Okay. Yeah. See, the thing, did you have much knowledge on Islam when you converted? Yes, I did. And did I you know about over this? time? Um, yeah, I did. I skimmed over it. Well, not skimmed over it, but I did look into it before I was about to take the shahada. And what did you, uh, specifically about the jurisprudence, did you find anything about that when it comes to this topic? Like, did anything concern me about this? No, what did you find when you researched about this, particularly, oh, if you did? Well, obviously, I found the elephant in the room about, you know, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being obviously a P-E-D-O, like I researched into that because obviously when people talk about Islam, that's what they're always going to talk about. And I find that disrespectful. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, I'm going to do my research before going into religion. And I did. And I'll still stand on right. the Shahada. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. And how does it make you feel that he slept with somebody that was a child? Um. Well... <laughs> The thing is, is that because times have like changed from them, so obviously me now, I'm gonna be like a bit, like how I'm gonna think of it is gonna be how dip is gonna be different to how someone else, one thousand four hundred one thousand four hundred years ago would think about it, because back okay. then a lot of people were doing that, priests, etc. Now, is the Quran? an example for all time? Like, it can it ever be dated and say, oh, that was only for that time period? Um, what do you mean by that? I'm kind of confused. Something that is decreed in the Quran, can we ever say that it's outdated or that it was only for that time? Um, of course not, right? Be consistent. No, of course not. The Quran is your holy text. Right. You believe that Absolutely. it is? Yeah. Yeah, but we, you believe that it's your holy text, that it's good for all periods of time, right? Yeah, I do.
So a man today could marry a four-year-old or a five-year-old and consummate with her based off these two verses, right? Well, obviously, because the times have changed, and I know it kind of contradicts what I said, but I'm talking about certain things, what happened 1,400 years ago is what happened 1,400 years ago. Obviously, now modern times have changed. Ideologies have changed, so obviously, I'm not going to maybe go and marry a four-year-old child. But I'm not in talking the time about the period that I'm in right now. You see what I'm saying? I'm not talking about Muhammad, though. I'm talking about like what we were seeing in the in the Quran just now, that a man can decide that he wants to take a, a child a child bride, right? And then he can consummate with her based off these verses. Am I correct or incorrect? Sorry, you're gonna have to repeat that again. That I'm not talking about Muhammad and what he did for uh, fourteen hundred years ago. I'm talking about. Um, these verses that we saw that a man today could decide because it's written in the Quran. Like, obviously, if I'm able to divorce a prepubescent child and she needs an idda, and an idda is only for consummate, well, me then I can marry her and I can consummate, right? Well, me personally, uh-huh. because obviously I was born in the 21st century, I'm going to go against that because I wasn't born 1400 years ago. So... Right. So something that the Quran is saying and telling us that we can do is is wrong, right? Because that book was written 1400 years ago, so... Yeah, outdated, huh? Don't you think? If something is claiming to be a holy book, you should be able... Well, tell me something that Jesus said, anything, just anything off the top of your head that Jesus said to do that would not be morally applicable today. And the the, the, the Bible was... But yeah. I do remember yeah. on one of your lives, um, I think um, you said go back and look about how maybe Mary and Joseph about that age gap as well. And I did do my research and obviously that was a while ago, but on the website that was like verified or whatever, it said that Joseph was like in his 20s and Mary was like in her four- 13s, 14s. You remember when I asked you to find that verse in the Bible? Yeah, and it gave me the verse. But you know that, that that's not a verse in the Bible. So the Bible doesn't say any it age. Is, so the, uh-huh, go ahead. But there's like there was proof of it from the sure. website that I looked on. I can't remember well, from the top of my head. This was like a month ago, by the way. Right, right. But here's the thing. Like I can't bring you like a website and say, Well, here's the proof that x y and z like i have to prove it to you i have to like prove it to you from your own scriptures that's why i go inside of your scriptures and i prove it to you there because that's what you find in authority right but from the bible is my authority so if you can prove it from the bible that would prove it but the only thing is is that there's no verse like that in the bible it doesn't say her age at all it doesn't say his age also, I have a question for you since obviously we're going to have to agree to disagree on that point. So right. you said that. Hold on, but you were one second to... before you ask me this question. Let me, let, because we're comparing Jesus and Muhammad at this point, let's say you had a family. You had two little girls and one little boy, and you had to go on a vacation or you had to go somewhere. And on one side of your house, you had two neighbors on either side. You're in the middle. Jesus is in one house. And Muhammad is in the other house. Now, which prophet would you allow to watch your little girls, Jesus or Muhammad? I wouldn't mind either because I believe Isa alayhi salam was a good person as well. And I'm not going to try and bring that down anyway. If you can only choose one, you would let you would let Muhammad watch your little girl. I wouldn't mind either. You would let him watch your little girl. So are you talking about right now if this was to happen in the 21st century? I'm just asking, based on based upon what we know about these two people, who would you let watch your little girls, Jesus or Muhammad? And you would let Muhammad watch your little girls? Well, I wouldn't mind because obviously as a Muslim, how you hesitate a little bit? unmarried woman. Do you see how so that, that second of, hold one second, you see that second of hesitation where you were like, uh, you know, but if you really thought that Muhammad was a stand up individual, you would absolutely, if somebody said, um, uh, you know, 
would you allow Jesus to, to watch us? I would allow Jesus to raise my children. OK, I would let Jesus have my children because of the fact that I know that he would be they would be in, 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 in such good hands. The only thing is, is that with Muhammad, he we see that he, you know, he touched a child and, and from the Quran, he's allowing men to take brides that are babies, essentially. And I love you, girl. That's the, I'm here to, 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 to tell you that, that there is a better way. And I understand that you convert it, but I want you to know that perhaps you didn't look into it deep enough before like actually giving a, like a decision because there is a God, but it's just not the God of Muhammad because God wouldn't allow a man to take liberties with a child. Of course not, sis. Is, is it ever right for a man to take a liberty with a child? Sister, are you there? Everybody put W Amara and send her some gifts. We're going to give her some love. Sister, are you, th are you there? Ooh, I might have to drop you. But Amara, I want you to know we love you, girl. We love you. We're not here to embarrass you, point fingers at you, nothing like that. We're here to tell you that there's a different way because these are some of the things that the Lord forbid, if you don't make it, if you don't accept Jesus Christ, that you will be thinking about in the afterlife like I should have known because of the fact that he touched the kid and I made um, excuses for it. You know what I mean? You have to really use your heart and use your mind and, and, and understand, you know, exactly what's happening. If God allows these things, then this cannot be the right God. And thank you so much for coming up. I appreciate it. All right, y'all. About to have some visitors over and you know how it is when you have visitors over make sure everything is all right in the living room okay all right but